Let's do some power tests on the IC718. I've got a feeling that this 718 is um, a bit down on power. I've taken it out of the second shack and um, it's here. I've replaced it with the ICOM 7000. Straight away I noticed that the 7000 are a much, much quieter receiver. This has been one of my criticisms of this radio, but I, I have got my doubts about the uh, the power output of this radio. So, okay, I found that uh, keying the radio in the RTTY mode is probably the best to get the maximum power reading. So we'll try it on 40, and uh, yeah, we've got just another 100 watts there. No problem there. It's into my dummy load, my MFJ dummy load. So 40 looks to be okay. Um, I think what I notice here, and it must be because this is an average reading, on the radio we're showing uh, 50 between 50 and 60 percent power. But as you, as you can see on the meter, we, we're around the 100 watt mark, which is where we'd want to be. So that's fine, no problem. It does beg the question of what this uh, percentage on the meter is reflecting, really, but it's not accurate. Let's go down to uh, 80 meters. Okay, don't worry about the frequency because we're on the demi load. We're not interfering with any anyone or anything. Let's uh, key it up again. Let's get it into the the routine there. Okay. Uh, well, okay, we're uh, we're a little bit over the hundred there, so that's absolutely fine. We're at 110 watts peak. We can try um, uh, 160 meters. Okay. And again, yeah, we're on the 100 watt mark, absolutely fine. We've done 40. Let's go up to, um, what we do to try 30 meters there. 30 meters, uh, that's on AM, but we'll just go on to, not to cheat Y. Well, yeah, over the 100 watts. I don't know whether keying it on CW would, you know, without the key, it does nothing. So the RTT. Y mode is the way to go with this. Go to 20 meters. Again, yeah, 95, 95 watts is fine. Uh, 17 meters. A little bit less there, but around but the 90 mark. 15 meters. We're on uh, just over 100. 12 meters and 96, 95, 96 on 12 up to 10 and uh, yeah, we're around 90, 95 watts so it's slightly inconsistent but really just a, a touch under the 100 watt mark so we've got no problems I think with the power output with the PA in this radio it does have a very noisy receiver. I don't think I'll put it back in the second shock. I think I'll leave the ICOM 7000 there. Um, what I do with this radio, I may sell it on. I may use it as a data modes only thing. Not too sure yet. But there we are. That was the ICOM 718. Quite an old radio. Now, I didn't pay an awful lot of money for it. But I've been very disappointed with the receive performance. And... Um, you may see why the reason why I had my doubts about the power output of this is when we look at the meter here, power output meter, and uh, yeah, I agree it's showing it's a percentage meter rather than um, rather than a straight power meter, but it's showing just over the fifty percent. But I'm getting uh, in the region of um, ninety watts, so yeah, it's a bit of a strange one. Okay, thank you for watching.
Okay, let's do some power tests on the IC7. Okay, I've got a feeling that this. Let's do some power tests is, on uh, the IC718. I've got a feeling that this 718 is uh, and, um, it's here I've repeated it I've come 7,000 straight away I noticed that the 7,000 it's here I've repeated it I've come 7,000 straight away I noticed that the 7,000 are much much quieter I've got receiver. my doubts about the uh, this has been one of my criticisms of this radio but I I've got, got my doubts the about the, uh, the power output of this radio and, um, so I'm going to take it down to 40 meters and we'll get the RF power and um up to high, just which should be full receptor. power, and, and we'll get the watts. RF power here. And uh, we'll up go to high, to, which uh, should be full power, and, and the watts. I'll just and, check. Uh, the we'll go gain. to um, lower side where we're on lower side band. I'll just and check the my gain. LC, we're about eighty percent. Uh, let's try that. quite high. Maybe we'll be going into and ALC we'll press at two about eighty percent. Let's try that. We haven't got the compressor turned on. Let's give this a good whistle and see what we can get out of it. Okay, I found that uh, key in the radio. Okay, the I found that uh, that's probably the best to get the key in the radio in the RTT Y mode is so probably the best to get the and, uh, maximum power reading. So we'll try it on forty. It's into my dummy uh, load. We've got MFJ just under hundred watts there. There's no so problem there. there. Looks to be okay. It's into my dummy load. My MFJ dummy load. Um, I think so. Forty looks to be okay. What I notice here, and it must be because this is an average reading. Um, I think on the radio. We're what showing, I notice uh, here, and it must be because this is an average reading. Power. On the radio, as we're as showing uh, fifty between fifty and sixty percent power. Where we'd want to be. So that's fine. As you, as you can see on the meter, we're we're around the hundred watt mark, which is where we'd want to be. So that's fine. There's no reflecting really, but it's not. It does beg the question of what this percentage on the meter is reflecting really, but it's not accurate. Okay, don't worry about the frequency. Let's go down, down to uh, 80 meters. Okay, don't worry about the frequency because we're on the dummy. We're not interfering with any anyone or anything. Let's uh, key it up again. Let's get it into the a little bit over the hundred. So that's absolutely fine. We're 110 watts. Okay, we're a little bit over the hundred. So that's absolutely fine. We're 110 watts peak. Okay, you can try um, and again 160 meters. Watt mark, absolutely fine. We've done okay. 40. Let's and go again to yeah, we're on the hundred watt mark. Absolutely fine. We've done forty. Let's go up to thirty meters. Uh, so on AM, we do try thirty meters there. Thirty meters. Uh, that's on AM, but we're just going to the hundred watts. I don't know whether Why? keying it on CW would so oh, yeah no, over the hundred watts. I don't know whether keying it on CW well, would is the way to go with this without the key. It doesn't. I think go so. Go to the Y mode is the way to go with this. Again, yeah, go to 20 meters. Five watts. It's fine. Again, yeah, 95, meters. 95 watts. It's fine. Uh, 70 meters. There, but, but around the 90 mark. A little bit less it there. But, but around the 90 mark. We're on uh, just over 100. 15 meters. 12 on, meters. Uh, just over 100. 96, 95, 12 meters, 12, up to 10, and 96, 95, 96, so 12, and, uh, up to 10, 90, 95 watts, so it's slightly inconsistent, but really and, just uh, a touch under 90, the 95 95 watts, so it's slightly no inconsistent, but really just a touch under the 100 watt mark, so you've got no problems, I think, with the power output with the PA in this radio. It does have a very noisy receiver. I don't think I'll put it back in the second shot. This will leave the ICOM 7000 there. What I do with this radio, I may sell it on, but there we are, that was the ICOM 7000 only thing.
Quite an old radio. Not too sure yet. But there we are. That was the Icom 718. Very disappointed with Quite an old radio. Now I didn't pay an awful lot of money for it. But I've been very disappointed with the receiver. Why I have my doubts about the power output. And of this um, is when we look may at see the why the reason why I have my doubts about the power output. Power of this output is meter. when we look at the and, uh, yeah I agree it's meter it's, here. It's a percentage power output meter, meter rather than um, and uh, yeah I agree it's showing meter, it's 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 a percentage meter rather than um, but I'm getting uh, rather than a straight power meter, but it's showing just over the fifty percent. So but I'm getting in the region of thank you for watching. 90 watts so yeah it's a bit of a strange one okay thank you for watching